Okay, so we're gonna start with a 10 blade. This is a detachable blade clipper. I'm gonna use a guard comb. We're gonna try this zero, which leaves about a 5 8 inch clip on Roscoe. I think we're gonna try this. It is springtime, but Roscoe is not ready for a summer trim yet. So I am going to still leave a nice little length of coat on Roscoe. We're gonna leave some coat on him until maybe the next groom will go a little bit shorter because he does like to go camping. He's a busy guy. Right, buddy? I know, it's not your favorite. I am clipping in reverse with Roscoe because he has a little bit of a drop coat. He's a Shih Tzu. And with clipping in reverse, I get a little bit more even length of coat. And our snap-on combs are just setting the length. I'll have to do scissor finish work. But it is setting the length for me, which really cuts a lot of time out of our grooming. And when we're pet grooming, we are trying to save time, especially for the pet as well. Get them done nicely and quickly and safely. Roscoe is a, a really good guy to work with, but the key to successful grooming is to have these grooming sessions with the dogs and they get used to it because you actually bond with them when you're grooming. And with that said, you're teaching them to trust the grooming process. And I'm just trying to take as much as I can with my zero wall stainless steel snap-on comb to set my length. I'll be using thinning shears and blending shears and straight shears here in a minute to finish up his haircut. So definitely stay put for that. Some real secrets coming your way. Good job, hon. Yes, if you want to sit, you can sit wherever you can to about his belly button. This is sanitary trimming, which keeps him clean when he's on your lap, in your bed, and in your car. Now I'm going to just pick up this side leg a little bit and tidy up in there somewhat. And yes, the clipper bag system is so handy because I'm barely even have to touch Roscoe. It pulls the hair right in. And when we trim around their anus, we want to go away from the anus in all four directions. That's a good boy. I know you're a big boy. Now we've cleaned up that really nice trim right on his earlobe. I like to vent these ears. You want to be careful. Dogs have this little flap right here. You don't want to get anywhere near that. You could seriously cut it. So protect that little flap with your thumb so you're sure not to get it. It could be pretty bad. We're going to do corners of the eyes and then it's all scissor work. So for the corners of the eyes, gently comb this up. I'm going to set it to a 10. Just scooping right in a V shape. In the, okay in the corner of his eye. The rest I'm going to scissor. Good. Just in a little V-shape. Some dogs are really picky about being trimmed around their face, so you have to you have to work with them and take what you can get sometimes. We're going to switch on over to a 30 on the flash, and we're going to trim the paw pads. Roscoe's feet. I like to trim as much as I can with this clipper because it's all the less scissor work I'm going to have to do. It's kind of a little cheat. So just making everything flush so that when he puts his foot down, he's not standing on any hair. That's kind of our goal. He was gently trimming a V shape in this large pad. I'm going to start with three shears. I'm going to use my Shinobi, which is a Kenshi. This is an eight inch. I'm going to use my Jonathan David lightning shear, which is a blender. One of my favorite shears, actually. Jody Murphy. This is called the outliner. Straight across between his eyes and set that. Take that Jody Murphy shear, okay. And I'm just gonna, in a V shape, see I'm sh in a V shape, I'm tidying up everything that maybe the clipper left behind just to really tidy that up. Because this area tends to grow out pretty fast on our pets. Pull everything forward and I want to try to change the expression on Roscoe. Put my thumb on top of his nose so he holds still. 
I want to shape this up so that it looks like he's smiling instead of frowning. When his hair comes and hangs down, it can actually mimic a frown. <laughs> so you can turn that frown upside down with scissor work, believe it or not. Use your comb constantly to pull up that hair. Pinch his nose shut so he can't open his mouth. Combing everything forward from the corner of his eye to the corner of the eye, I wanna see a straight visor. We're creating the round head. We're gonna continue this shape up to the base of the ear. So anything sticking out over the shape that I'm thinking I want, I'm going to scissor off. So we're always looking at the shape we're after. And using your comb is very important because the hair will pop out and then you'll see what you need to scissor off. All right. And we're just setting the outline with a straight shear. I'm going to come over the whole thing with a blending shear in a minute. So now we're pretty set. Now it's time to do the fun stuff. I'm also going to pinch his nose shut in his mouth so I can just tidy that up. I'm lifting and moving forward slowly with my comb and using a scissor over comb technique to blend that scissor work straight into the top skull. By using blenders, this is the Jonathan David Lightning Blender. Um, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but boy, you can really get a nice look. So I just blended that. Now I'm gonna blend the cheeks. So I'm gonna hold the ear up out of the way gently. Comb everything up. This is a good time to use scissor spray if you need to. His hair is standing up really nice for me. And I'm actually scissoring and shaping with my blending shear. I'm not blending, I'm actually scissoring, shaping it. Just like I would if I was using a straight shear, but it looks so natural when you use a blender. Good job, buddy. So his head's looking pretty good. There's one more thing we're gonna do is tidy up above the ear. Combing everything up and, and just using your blender and scissoring it out. And you'll see that I'm putting my ring finger and pushing up so the hair will pop up. Uh, underneath, I'm pushing up. And anything that's gonna pop up is what I'm gonna scissor off. So now you can see the difference between this ear and this ear. This needs to go. That's a good boy. See, you just put your finger underneath and let that hair pop up and it lets you gently blend it off. Pull the ear forward so you can tidy up behind the ear. Same here. And Roscoe, your head is done. This is very uneven. I'm using a straight shear. I combed everything up so I can just scissor it more flush with the length that we set from the snap-on comb. You can always use thinning shears here too. Just be careful if you're a beginner, you may not wanna use your, your blending shears here. You have to be pretty precise. So you can do it all with a straight, comb, a straight shear. Now his mom, did ask me to tidy up his tail and shorten it up a little, so I'm gonna comb, brush out the tail. I'm gonna find where the tailbone is, which is right here. And I'm gonna come way down and just snip that off. Just shortened up the tail a little bit to keep him cleaner. Comb everything up, always comb up. You'll see where our snap-on comb work left a little to be desired. So I'm using a chunker shear and I'm just erasing off a lot of those clipper lines. And this chunker shear takes a lot of hair. So that's nice. It's also somewhat forgiving as compared to a straight shear. Set this foot, comb everything down. He always wants to sit. It would be better if he stood. Come around that back pad like this. You never go at it this way, you could cut it. So we come around the back pad. That's the safest thing to do. Right at the tippy toes. And we used our Kenchi flash to cheat a little bit and take some, and set some of that roundness of the foot. Stand him up, hold the foot up, comb everything up. 
It allows you to now dome the top of the foot and see what you need to trim off. It's very important to use your comb over and over and over again to pull that hair up because every time you do, more hair is going to pop up just like that. And you'll find out what you need to trim off. So combing everything up, now we're just going to try to fix the shape of his leg so it all blends together. This is the Shinobi 8-inch straight shear. Good boy. Give it another comb up. It is a rainy day, so I guess he's just not feeling it. Good boy. Coming around here, taking a look on the inside of the leg. It looks pretty good. From all different angles. Um, you'll see things from a different perspective. So moving around your dog is really important. Finishing up this leg and foot and Roscoe is going to be ready to go. So you can see that that looks pretty, pretty bad. See that? So one thing I'm going to do is hold this foot out and come straight up the side. That's why I personally like eight inch shears because look at all the ground it's covering. A lot of people aren't comfortable with eight inch shears. I think if you try to learn on an eight inch shear, you'll get really used to it. I'm just using the tips of my shear. So knowing when to do that is you know, safer for the dog so that you don't accidentally nip something you shouldn't be. This is coming together back here a little better. That's a good boy. Okay. I see a little hair sticking out right there. It's just bugging me. All right. <laughs> Okay, go over your dog one more time with the comb. Make sure you get all the little clippings out. There you go, buddy. There you go. Stop. Okay, good job. That's right, you shake it off. That's a good boy. Amy Lee. I am a certified professional pet groomer since 2003. I am also a content creator on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel called Go Groomer and on that channel I bring a new voice to the pet grooming industry. One that includes pet owners as a valuable consumer. By sharing my secrets of the pet grooming industry on my YouTube channel, it allows me to give pet owners the opportunity to provide quality care for their beloved pets at home, increasing value to their pets' lives as well as increasing the bond they share with their pet. It's pretty awesome.